ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 yeah we'll chant the verses <clears throat> divya mahyam paradharam divya gandhanulepanam sarvaascharyamayam devam ಆನಂತ ವಿಶ್ವಖಂ ದಿವಿ ಸೂರ್ಯಸಹಸ್ರೇದ್ಯುಗಪದುತ್ತಿ ಯದಿ ಭಾಸದೃಶಿ ಸಾಸಸ್ತ ಮಹಾತ್ಮನ ತೈಕಸ್ತ ಜಗತ್ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನ ಪ್ರವಿಭ ಶರೀರೆ ಪಾಂಡವಸ್ತಸ್ಮಿಷ್ಟೋ ಮಾಧನಂಜಯ ಪ್ರಣಮ್ಯ ಶಿರಸ ಕೃತಾಂಜಲಿರಭಾಷತ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉಚ ಪಶ್ಯಿ ದೇವಾಂಸ್ತವ ದೇವದೇಹೆ ಸರ್ವಾಂಸ್ತೂತ ವಿಶೇಷ ಸಂಖಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡಮೀಶಂ ಕಮಲಾಸನಸ್ಥ ಕೃಷಿಶ್ಚರ್ವಾನುರಗಾಂಶ್ಚ ದಿವ್ಯಾನ್ ಅನೇಕ ಬಾಹೂದರ ವಕ್ತ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಪಶ್ಯಿ ತ್ವಾಂಸರ್ವತೋನಂತ ಮಧ್ಯಂ ನ ಪುನಸ್ತವಾದಿ ಪಶ್ಯಿ ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ಕಿರೀಟಿ ಗತಿ ಚಕ್ರಿಣ ತೇಜೋರಾಶಿ ಸರ್ವತೋತಿಮಂತ ಪಶ್ಯಿ ತ್ವಾಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಸಮಂತ ದೀಪ್ತಾನಲಾತ್ಕ್ಯುತಿಮ ಪ್ರಮೇಯ ಪಮಕ್ಷರ ಪರಮ ವೇದಿತವ್ಯ ವಿಶ್ವ ಪರಂ ನಿಧಾನ್ಯಶಾಶ್ವತಧರ್ಮಗುಪ್ತ ಸನಾತನಸ್ತ್ವ ಪುರುಷೋ ಮತೋ ಮೆ ಅನಾಧ್ಯಾಂತಮನಂತವೀರ್ಯ ಅನಂತ ಬಾಹು ಶಶಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ನೇತ್ರ ಪಶ್ಯಿ ತ್ವಾಂತಹುತಾಶವಕ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ವತೇಜಸ ವಿಶ್ವಿದ ತಪಂತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯೋರಿದಮಂತರಂಹಿ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೈಕೇನ ದಿಶಶ್ಚ ಸರ್ವಾ ದೃಷ್ಟ್ವಾಭುತ ರೂಪಮುಗ್ರ ವೇದ ಲೋಕತ್ರಯ ಪ್ರವ್ಯಥಿ ಮಹಾತ್ಮನ್ ಋತಾಂಜಲಿರ ಭಾಷತ ಸೊ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ವೀಕ್ ನೌ and that's where we left him standing with anjali he was standing with the anjali mudra anjali mudra 
is like this. You know, standing, standing. This is this is called Anjali. It's called Anjali Mudra. Anjali Mudra, where you bring the palms to together. Prostration, prostration. You can bring the palms together for various reasons, isn't it? You can bring the palms like this also. You can bring. Okay, you, you can't see. No? You can bring the palms for asking. You can bring the... For, here is bringing Kritanjali Rabashita. Kritanjali Rabashita means he is so... He, he is an expression of... An, an, an expression of devotion. Who was wonderstruck and thrilled. Vishmaya, Vishtaha and Hrishta, Roma, Dhananjaya. He is wonderstruck. He is so he, he, he is he is wonderstruck. Wonderstruck because this is where Vishwarupa Darshan and all has to be understood rightly. Wonderstruck because he is seeing something new, or wonderstruck because he is having a new new vision or a new understanding about that which is already existing. Two ways. Again, please understand this. Vishwarupa can be seen in two ways. One is he is seeing something new. And when you see something new, you can be wonderstruck because you are seeing something new. Another possibility is you have been seeing it all along and you say, oh my God, I never knew I should have seen it in this way. Seeing an existing thing with a new, new vision. Of the two, we take the second interpretation right through the Vishwarupa Darshana Yoga. This is the basis from which we are interpreting it. Some can take the first interpretation. What is the first interpretation? He is seeing something. He is seeing something new. And when you say he is something new, people like that kind of uh, people like people like that kind of an interpretation. Most of them interpret like that only. He is seeing something new, and he is something new means it it is vast, it is big, it is great, and all this gives a a kind of mysticism to the entire Vishwarupa. It, it, it gives a kind of mysticism to the entire Vishwarupa. And moment you travel that route, the moment you take the route of Vishwarupa as a mystical vision, there is no teaching involved there. In mysticism, no teaching is possible. You also imagine that it is there. You, you, you keep looking at it. You keep wonderstruck. Uh, no teaching is possible there. Therefore, of the two, what interpretation we take? It is there already. All that you have been seeing for so long, suddenly Krishna gave him a, a new vision. Are you able to follow? He gave him a new perception. He gave him a new vision. That new vision make him get wonderstruck. The new vision that he got is the, is the Asharya. But sir, again we have a problem. Because we are so conditioned to taking it as literal form. We are so conditioned to taking it as literal form. What is the literal form? Again, in the later on in the Vishwarupa Darshana itself, he is going to say, um, Bhishma and Drona and Karna, all of them getting crushed by his teeth. And they are all, and, and the people are sticking out of his. Yeah. Like uh, maybe he maybe he didn't take the toothpick to the uh, to the meal that day. So so you can see after him crushed and eating everybody, still something is sticking out. And Arjuna is able to see all that. We know that because we have an advantage. What is the advantage that Arjuna doesn't have that we have? What is the advantage? We all know the climax. We all know the climax in studying Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna, Arjuna doesn't know the climax. 
or only one person knew the climax there? Who is the person who knew the climax? Krishna. Krishna alone knows the climax. Since Krishna alone knows the climax, we, we work backwards like that. Are you able to follow how we are interpreting? Supposing if we also assume that we are in the first day of the battlefield, assume like that, so we can't study Bhagavad Gita. We will not know how to interpret Bhagavad Gita. We will not know how to study Bhagavad Gita. Because we are already having an advantage. What is advantage? We know the climax. We know everything. Therefore, that Vishwarupa also we are able to interpret it like this. You follow? Second thing is, this is Krishna, Arjuna seeing all the people dead, etc. All that. Also, he describes other lokas. He says he he sees the other, he sees the other he sees the other locus. Again, we understand that these other locus and all is a poetic description, not a not physical places like that. That also we have understood any number of any number of times in this class. Supposing if you still say, no, no, sir, there are physical lokas and all existing like that somewhere. And Arjuna saw everything. Uh, you have not been following Bhagavad Gita at all from the beginning. Isn't it? Supposing if you still believe there are lokas like that, instead of, instead of understanding that as a poetic description. See, why, why we do all that? Acharya says, long back he said, see today we have an advantage of the movie zooming in, zooming out, you know, the background music, all that can be done in a movie. So, so you can zoom in, zoom out, you can give the background, now everything. You can see it very clearly what is happening. Are you able to follow? What is the problem of Vyasa? What Arjuna is seeing, he has to put it in words. It's not an... We have to understand that background when we read all this thing. You follow? Supposing if you had an iPhone in the battlefield, what you would have done? Arjuna's face would have been captured. If Arjuna's face has been captured live and shown on classroom, Krishna, Roma, Dhananjaya, Krita, Anjali, Shabharata. In the description, la, one way, one. Why? Because all that is, all that is seen. Now, all this description is given and, and when you have to put it in words, you have to really, really put it in such a words that, how will you see it's such a grand thing that what he is saying? So, lot of poetry mm -hmm. comes in. You need to understand it like that. Otherwise, what will happen? We'll take it. Don't take it so literally. Or people take it so literally as a mystical vision. What is a mystical vision? He gave Arjuna the third eye. Because of the third eye, he can see all the lokas, etc., everything. And then what happens? It is like the hypnotic vision. Ten minutes you will be hypnotized, see everything. And then eleventh minute, take the person out of, out of hypnotism. Even the Vishwarupa scene is over, 12th chapter, 15th chapter and all, Arjuna continues the impact of it. It means it, it is not a physical vision. It is a, a, a vision that is born out of maturity and understanding. Supposing if it is a hypnotic vision, Arjuna would have thought what? He will think. The, the, the impact of that will not continue into 13th chapter, 15th chapter, 18th chapter, etc. Are able to follow? <laughs> it means all this, what we understand is how Vishwarupa is seen. Elsewhere in the Bhashya, when Shankaracharya comments on this, he beautifully says, it is not what Arjuna sees is not important because at the end of the day, it is all interpretations only. How you see it is important, he says. 
again in bashya when he writes the adi shankar when he writes the bashya he writes it very he says what arjuna sees is not that important why because only arjuna has to say it except arjuna everybody else is saying what arjuna saw isn't it arjuna is not saying what i what he is everybody else is giving their meanings into what arjuna saw therefore shankara says how you see it is how you see it is important why because what you see doesn't determine your spiritual growth how you see it is the determining factor of growth remember this in the mystical schools they think what you see gives you spiritual growth in vedanta we understand it very clearly what you see doesn't give you spiritual growth but how you see it that's why swami ji goes on saying it's not what you do that matters it is how how most of the time we think what i see is what is going to make me spiritual again i repeat most of the times we misunderstand what i see is what is going to make me spiritual only if i go to tirupati balaji and even if the temple authority says don't come people are still going isn't it three this morning said we are going today i said but i saw the news that tripathi the, the authorities have said don't come till 2nd january no don't come they haven't they said it very clearly no 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 they will say but we have to go isn't it it means they are very clear spirituality means what i see in what i see is what makes me spiritual therefore they are so worried about what they what they see are you able to understand the difference in vedanta in bhagavad gita in the way that we have been studying right from the beginning we are very clear what everything is ordinary or everything is extraordinary either everything is ordinary or everything is extraordinary everything is ordinary if there is no spiritual growth at all spiritual growth means everything is extraordinary that height of everything is extraordinary is vishwarupa where you see the whole world as divine are you able to understand learn to see vishwarupa like this and every week i am giving some some new angle to make you uh, to brainwash you into believing that what arjuna is seeing is not a actual physical what arjuna is seeing is not actual physical huge form standing in front and all like that and how much ever explanation is given your doubt to go on getting very enforced that also we understand therefore what is arjuna doing now with this we come to arjuna what is arjuna doing kritanjali he is looking at that form with wonderment he is looking at that form with wonderment hair standing on hair standing on end the hair standing on end means normally hair is always lying down standing on end means it becomes erect all the hair has become erect meaning some some emotion is some emotion is happening in him how do you know that this emotion is happening in him sanjaya has shifted the attention from his vision of vishwarupa to arjuna now mm-hmm. are you able to understand the shift in verse number 14 up to verse number 13 sanjaya was looking at the vishwarupa and he reported how he sees vishwarupa so first report of vishwarupa is over what is the first report of vishwarupa krishna is already over second report of vishwarupa is also over who is the second person reporting vishwarupa now sanjaya sanjaya is also over because from vishwarupa arjuna uh, sanjaya shifted the vision shifted the vision to whom now from looking at vishwarupa because he has a job on hand he is not supposed to be a bhakta and uh, uh, get into meditation self realization his job is what his karma yoga is what to sit and report to dhritarashtra therefore what sanjaya does shifts the vision shift the focus from 
Vishwarupa to Arjuna. When he shifted the focus, Sanjay is reporting Arjuna's mixed emotions. Sanjay is reporting Arjuna's mixed emotion, saluting the Lord. He had great, he had great admiration for, he had great admiration for Krishna. Always he had a great admiration for Krishna, Vishwarupa and all that made it so. It took it to a different level. That's all. Took it to a different level. Mixed emotions of wonderment and fear. He is Ascharya at the same time, fear. In Sanjaya, there is only Ascharya wonderment, Bhakti alone. In Arjuna, you find a combination of wonderment and fear. With that, he spoke. Now you are going to see what Arjuna is seeing. Krishna saw Sorry, Krishna didn't see. Krishna said, this is what you will see. Sanjaya said, this is what I saw. Now, Arjuna is saying what he is. See, Arjuna said, mixed emotions and everything has changed. Therefore, you find the meter, the, the words in the verses also increase. From Gayatri meter, the chanting itself will take a different route. No, different route means the number of words in the verses will, will increase. So you find at least for the next 15-20 verses going in the same meter. Word where the number of words in the verses goes on increasing. We'll move on to verse number 15. Arjuna Uvacha. Padinga. Arjuna Uvacha Pashyami Devam Stava Deva Dehe Sarvam statha bhuta vishesha sanghan Brahmanamisham kamalasanastam Krishimscha sarvanuragamscha divyan Arjuna uvacha Pashyami devam stava deva dehe Sarvam statha bhuta vishesha sankhan Brahmanamisham kamalasanastam Krishimscha sarvan nuragamscha divyan Pashyami Arjuna Vacha Arjuna said, O oh God, I see in your body all the gods and hosts of various beings, Brahma, the Lord based on the lotus seed, and all sages and divine serpents. I see all the gods. I see in your body all, all the gods and hosts of various <coughs> beings. Brahma, the creator, the Lord of creation, seated on a lotus, and all the Rishis and celestial serpents. Now Arjuna is beginning his description. For the next uh, 15 verses up to verse number 29, we are going to listen to Arjuna's description of the Vishwarupa and, all the, and also the mixed emotions that he goes through. Also the mixed emotions. Because all the texts were oral tradition, how to bring the distinction, the meter changes. If it is written, if it is a written book, it's easy. You can you, you can highlight it, you can color it, you can bold it. There are so many things that you can do which words need not describe. Imagine everything is done through oral tradition. How to bring the shift? How to bring the shift? That's why you find the scriptures, meter keeps changing. 
when the meter changes it means something different is happening something different is happening also one kind of meter becomes a kind of lullaby after a period of time isn't it suddenly when the meter changes suddenly you will wake up and ask what is happening now no no krishna Arj arjuna si vishwarupa that's all yeah. these are the these are the these are the the method of capturing the attention and explaining what they want to say it's a it's a method it's a very beautiful method because you have to understand how everything is in oral tradition okay even if they are even if it is written in palm manuscripts how can you highlight and all there so it means everything has to be everything has to be described through through words and nowadays this bhagavad gita lectures and reading this and all is becoming so difficult to communicate because people have lost the poetic way of understanding anything people are so i was about to say so dumb but you don't want to say it isn't it people they people have lost the understanding of anything through poetry everything they want to the the intellectual laziness is so high that they want to be everything they want to see it in 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 picture audio visual then it audio visual because we can understand it no sir if you so fast you understand next second you forget also the problem is this that's why in this classroom people ask sir well, why don't you give ppts why don't you do this why don't you do that you know the number of lectures i get every day on how i should teach you have no idea narayan ji the number of lectures i get uh, how how i can make the teaching effective because we have to make use of the technology sir you are not making use of the technology at all i said you can make use of the technology they will shake their head next second next second it is forgotten also why because the buddhi is not doing any work to the buddhi is not doing any work to absorb the eyes are absorbing the mind is saying ah that's all that's why we want to describe everything through words 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 very well follow but again i belong to the very old school of thinking and i don't belong to the modern school you don't belong to the modern school because the modern school says everything has to be done because it has then only it will be understandable he say no intellectual laziness will get aggravated more and more and more why because the buddhi is not making any effort to understand if and if you don't make any effort to understand and and if it is just shown like that it's not that your buddhi will it's not that your buddhi is going to become very sharp and grasp and you are going to become wise you keep forgetting it are you able to follow therefore in the olden days what they did they kept it in oral tradition and they wanted people to to penetrate and how to penetrate poetry is a very beautiful way of penetrative thinking poetry is a very beautiful way of penetrative thinking poetry means one word can't have one meaning grammar will be grammar will be broken in in some places and still you need to understand everything therefore next 15 verses change of meter next 15 verses the change of meter suddenly you will think why it is actually no, nobody even notices the change and all but we are saying that yeah please notice the change and then we are saying the reason for the change also now we are going to see arjuna's vishwarupa hmm? are you okay till now three distinct emotions one is wonderment fear and then devotion to a chaturbhuja vishnu form so you see arjuna going through three emotions 
wonderment he will go through because he is seeing something which he has not seen and then fear comes in because he is mixed emotions. Fear comes in. The third emotion that he see at the end of the Vishwarupa Darshana is the devotion. Wonderment, fear, <coughs> devotion. So what is happening here? Here it is happening. The wonderment is happening here. For the next few verses, it will be the wonderment. Mm -hmm. I think up to 22, 23, it will be the wonderment only. When we go there, as we keep reading, uh, I'll, I'll tell you. Up to 23, I think it's wonderment. And from 24, the fear starts. Or maybe 22, 23. One verse this side, that's I'm not really, I've not looked into it for, for a very long time. So I'm, I'm not, uh, <laughs> not remembering the numbers as, uh, as exactly as uh, it is. Oh, first thing here, what is he saying? What am I seeing? Sarvan Devan Pashyami. First he is addressing Krishna. Deva Deva. O oh, God of O oh, God of Gods. Deva Deva. O oh, God of God, Supreme God. Who is that Supreme God? Deva Deva now? Krishna. In Krishna is that Deva Deva. I see all celestials. I see all celestials. Devas. Devas means we understand. Indra, Gandharva, uh, all that. Daityas, Dan, all that. The, the entire group of celestials. And where do we get those list of celestials? All those list of celestials we got in the previous chapter itself. In the 76 way of describing Vibhitu Yoga, he gave one list of. That's why we gave separate, separate list there. All that. He saw separately, separately. He is seeing it in, in one. So, what is he saying? I see all celestials. Sarva, Deva, Pashyami. I am seeing that. What is the second thing that he is seeing? Bhuta Visesha Sangha. The Bhuta Visesha Sangha. What is that Bhuta Visesha? Okay. What is the Bhuta Sangha? Bhuta Sangha is nothing but stationary like tree and plants and mobile like animals, human beings. Stavara Jangama. This Bhuta is made up of what? Moving and unmoving. The rocks, the plants, the trees, they don't, they don't move. There are these birds, the animals, the humans, they all, they all move. Not only he is seeing the moving, and the unmoving, he is also seeing the different configurations. In the moving, there are different configurations, correct? What is the different configurations in the moving? When he is seeing fish, he is not just seeing one fish. He is seeing all the possible existing of fishes he is seeing. When he is seeing birds, he is seeing all the possible existence. It, so this is called Bhuta Visesha Sangha. So he is seeing the combination of Stavara and Jangama. Not only he is seeing the Stavara and Jangama as one one symbolic, uh, like it's not like he is just seeing one, one Stavara and one Jangama. Not only that, he is seeing the moving and unmoving with all the infinite varieties. Meaning different permutations and combinations. Like we say cat family. Means he's seeing the entire cat family. He's seeing the entire fish family. He's seeing the entire family. Entire Take it like that. See, it means what? All this is already there. Correct? Mm -hmm. The Stavara and Jangama is already there. It's not that Krishna suddenly created the Stavara and Jangama. Are you able to follow? This Tavara and Jangama is already there. Only difference is what? Arjuna is seeing it differently now. Now forget whether Arjuna is seeing it differently or not. You are supposed to see it differently. What are you supposed to see it? It is not that all these are newly created now. That's where we say it's a poetic description. Vijay Puridhan. 
அததான் அது ஆக்சுவலி இட்ஸ் கால் அ பொயட்ரிக் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஒய் பிகாஸ் இஸ் தாவர் அண்ட் ஜங்கம் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் இட்ஸ் நாட் தட் ஹி கிரியேட்டட் நியூ ஃபார் த விஷன் யூ கேன் சே இஃப் யூ ஹேஸ் கிரியேட்டட் சம்திங் நியூ ஃபார் த விஷன் ஆக்க தான் யூ கேன் சே இட் வாஸ் இன் தேர் பட் ஆக்சுவலி வாட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் திஸ் தாவர் அண்ட் ஜங்கம் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி தேர் வித் இன்ஃபைனைட் configurations with the infinite uh, combinations all that arjuna is seeing it previously he was so preoccupied we don't see it okay understand it like that we all don't see vishwarupa at all why because so stuck with one rupa we are all so stuck with one nama rupa that we don't see the vishwarupa why are you stuck with one nama rupa or a few one or two now one or one two three nama rupas everybody is stuck with why you are stuck with that one or two three nama rupas attachment that's all you are so attached to it that you can't see anything beyond that wherever you go even when you are seeing even when you go on a holiday supposing you go on a holiday i don't know all of you are supposed to have gone on a holiday today isn't it in the new year eve nalik new year na book on bhagavad gita class ketna kuda you all should be traveling going on a holiday isn't it when you go on a holiday like that and when you see a beautiful sunrise when you put, when you see a beautiful sunset even that sunrise and sunset will remind you of that two three nama rupa only i will follow even when you see a sunrise actually you don't see the sunrise at all even that sunrise will trigger what the two three nama rupa that's why you immediately want to make a video call isn't it immediately want to make a video call and say see 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 you are not seeing the person whom to whom you are making a video call is also not seeing and the sunrise and sunset will be looking at this tamasha going on i said what kind of a foolish people here what are they doing are you able to follow the vishwam is already there it's not that krishna created it and showing it to arjuna the stavara jangama bhuta sangha is already there bhuta vishesha sangha he says this bhuta vishesha sangam is already there you don't see it why you don't see it because you are stuck to one or two nama rupa you are stuck with that's all and wherever you go you only you only see that that's why you give the example no the mother goes to the school to pick the child up 1500 children are running out of the of the school all of them looks the same because uniform is the same no so we end up on you won't even know the you can't even know the difference because in the uniform everybody looks the everybody looks the same and the eyes are searching for the eye is searching for what that one nama rupa and one and when that nama rupa comes then only you actually start seeing <laughs> till that time you are not seeing anything you are only searching for arjuna has also been living life like this till now in vishwa rupa he is changing he is seeing it differently when i am saying arjuna is seeing it seeing it differently arjuna is seeing it differently don't take it literally as arjuna is seeing it differently you are supposed to see like that kolathur purida you are supposed to see it like that in artham instead of saying are you seeing it like that are you seeing it like that you get why you 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 know why are you irritating us so therefore i say arjuna 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 hmm? it's not arjuna seeing we are interested in we are interested in how you should see it so this bhuta vishesha sangha is already there this bhuta vishesha sangha is already there and you are seeing it now what makes you to see it now because you have gotten out of the infatuation or obsession to that few nama rupa when you get out of the infatuation or obsession to the few nama rupa you can actually start seeing what is there that is vishwa rupa so he is seeing he is seeing everything there he is seeing everything there and then what is the next thing that he is seeing brahmana misham kamala sanastam brahmana here brahma is the creator here brahma is the creator he is seeing brahma loka he is not seeing brahman 
because you can't see brahman that is very clear brahma brahma he is seeing brahma means the the creator the chaturpuja the sorry the chaturmuha brahma seated in the how he is seated he is seated in the he is seated in the uh, lotus leaf with all the vedas in his hand that's how brahma is created he will not have vedas he will be have he will be holding manuscripts is in palm manuscripts he will be holding in his hand so heads on four side seated on the lotus leaf The Mundaka Upanishad starts with Brahma first. Mundaka Upanishad starts with Brahma and the Arvika. You know, anything you start, you have to start from the Creator. No, isn't it? That's why anything you start, where do you start with? Who's your father and mother? You have to ask, isn't it? Because you have to start from the from the Creator. And looking at the father and mother, you know, okay, you don't have to ask, isn't it? Because the Creator can't create anything. Yeah, Creator, it's creating like that. So, what is he saying? Om Brahma Devanam Pratamas Sambhuva Vishwasya Karta Bhunasya Bhokta Gokta. Sorry. Vishwasya Karta Bhunasya Gokta. Anthapasana Bhokta. It is Gokta Mundaka Upanishad. First mantra. It is very clear what the entire creation was guided by Vedas. From the beginning itself, we, we, we want to make it very clear that it is not that the world, the creation came and then part of the creation is Vedas. We don't take that stance. We say Vedas itself guided the creation. When Brahma created the world, something he, he needed to have some knowledge of something no, to create. Where did he get that knowledge from? That knowledge with which the entire creation is happened is called Vedas, Veda, Vedanta. All we use very synonymously. Therefore, you find the Chatur Mukha Brahma sitting with manuscripts. Why? Because Brahma Vidya is the fundamental science, the fundamental knowledge, the fundamental science, and the very substance of all knowledge. From there, if from there he branches off into two, para and apara. In that manuscript, there are two types of knowledge, he says. Para and apara. We are not going into that description now, but that where where Brahma comes, because everything that we study, we want to give Upanishadic reference also, isn't it? Wherever there is a Upanishadic reference, we, we bring in. Brahma Devanam Pratamas Sambhabhuva. In Kaivalya Upanishad, Brahma himself is the Guru. In Kaivalya, you find the student going to Brahma Loka and learning Brahma Vidya from Brahma himself. So he is seeing that Brahma. He is seeing that Brahma. And then he sees. Divine Rishis. Who are the Divine Rishis? Vasishta, Vamadeva, Vishwamitra, etc. Everybody, can, you all can have your own list of Rishis. I'm super brilliant. And add me also in your list. I'm also a Rishi or not? Huh? Yes or no? Yes. Ah, he's not saying yes. Sir. So everybody, you know, everybody can add your own list of the divine rishis, isn't it? You make your own. And he sees divine rishis means those who inspire. So he's seeing all the inspired, all those who are inspiring, he's seeing it there. Because Vasishta, Vishwa, Mitra, Bharadwaja and all doesn't inspire us today because we, we have no clue to, we have no clue to them. We, we, we have only heard them, isn't it? Atri, Bruhu. Utsavasishta, Gaudama Kashyapa, Angi Rasa Rishayaha. They do that prayer. Another prayer. They have Vasishta, Vishwamitra, etc. So what he is, what means is, he is seeing the entire galaxy of Rishis. He is 
seeing wonder moment no stavara jangama he is seeing the divine beings he is seeing the divine rishis he is seeing and the divine snakes is also he is seeing what is the divine snake we have seen that already in even chapter 10 alan thirip thirip what you should know you should not ask and we can't keep going back to 10 and 11 divine snake na rend divine snake there are two divine snakes in, in fact all gods have have all gods will have one snake isn't it for ganesha his dhoti gets loosened up sometimes so he has a belt <laughs> Yeah. what is the belt that he uses live leather belt he is using isn't it <laughs> at least we all use dead leather belt we use ganesha will use the live leather belt what is that live leather belt snake yeah, you you find no ganesha having mm-hmm. the thing so divine serpents because it because it is associated with the god it becomes divine and generally there are two ananta isn't it ananta is one vasuki is another these are all the names idukalla nariya amar chitra katha padichirukonu illaya we have not studied amar chitra katha call raj he will tell you dr raj shankar you can call yeah he will tell you all that nice because he has to refer from his daughter sakshi sakshi raj shankar isn't it அதெல்லாம் படிச்சிருந்தேன் the la difference you should notice when you read you should notice all these differences abad you are listening reading nartho isn't it anna seriya group discussion la shraddha shraddha nu pesni irukudu isn't it thevey illada discussion when you read you should see all this all this beautiful distinctions you see the vishwam and you see the ishwara in the vishwam that is called vishwa roopa the vishwam is already there krishna didn't create the vishwam for arjuna for for the vishwa is the vishwam is already there the the universe is already there only difference is what now what is the spiritual growth the test of spiritual growth the test of spiritual growth is everything in the universe you will start seeing it in a true form which is divine that is the test of growth remember that eka roopam and eka roopam vishwa roopam etc the test of spiritual growth is what you see the entire vishwa you see the entire entire creation and you don't have to see the entire creation and all like that if you have learned to see the divine in each and everything around you that is you you have developed vishwa roopa darshan of vision again you don't have to go and see each and you don't have to list out each and everything as 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 divine 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 god 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 ishwara ishwara brahman brahman you don't need to do it like that if you can learn to see that divine in everything around you that's how krishna will start in chapter 12 35 qualities the vishwa roopa allo arjuna don't try all these things hatred illam irundale you you will you are saying vishwa roopa he say advesta sarva bhutanam because the entire bhuta is divine when you are hating a bhuta whom are you hating See, when you say i can't stand a person what are you saying viraranga i can't stand divine because what is in what is that form 
that form is nothing but divine, isn't it? How do we understand that? We have seen that very clearly in chapter 7 and chapter 9. What is it? We have seen that very clearly in chapter 7 and chapter 9. It is the clay appearing in a form. It is the gold appearing in a form. Don't segregate the gold and the form. Don't segregate the clay and the don't segregate the clay and the pot. Don't segregate divine and non-divine. Don't segregate. Never segregate that. But we are so used to do the segregation. What is the segregation? Divine, non-divine. Divine, non-divine. Are you able to follow? He says, no, don't do that. In order to bring us to this understanding, what is the difference between looking at the world now and looking at the world with the special eye? You look at the world now as to how you can make use of it. You look at the world always thinking in terms of how to make use of it. When you bring in the third eye, you will start in thing, you will start thinking in terms of the moment you see divine, what will you do? You will not think in terms of how you can make use of it. You will start thinking in terms of how I can be of some service. Very well to follow. Then only you will start thinking in terms of how I can be of some, some service. How I can be of some service to the Bhutani, to the plants and animals. How I can be of service to the human beings. How I can be of service to the... That's where you find the Panchamaha Yajna we keep talking about. The Panchamaha Yajna. Where, where you have to do the five great acts of every day that you have to do. Deva Rishi Pitru Manushya Bhuta. Deva Rishi Pitru Manushya Bhuta. This Deva Rishi Pitru Manushya Bhuta in one is Vishwarupa. It means it's not one. You see everything as it is, but your perception has changed. Your perception has, has changed. Therefore, what happens? Vishwarupa, you see. Okay. What is it that is blinding that you are not able to see the Vishwarupa? That Ahankara and Mamakara. The I and mine. The I now, now I na eva e. Has some problem in saying. You can say it very right, very rightly. Pronunciation I and I na E Y in you understand the uh, the the alphabet I. When you have the deep sense of I, your eyes will see it differently. When the sense of ahankara and mamakara, when the I in you is diluted you start seeing Vishwarupa. Are you able to follow? So it means what? Is the strong sense of i there or is the i diluted? That's all you need to understand. And how do you dilute this Ahankara and Mamakara? How do you, how do you dilute that i The I and mine? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every time you are grateful, every time you say thank you, thank you, not thank you to anything in specific. It starts with something in specific and it goes universal. That gratitude. Dilute the hankara and mamakara. Once that gratitude dilutes the hankara and mamakara, the way that you see things itself will be extremely different. That is what is happening to Arjuna now. So understand Vishwarupa in that manner. So what all he is seeing now? He is seeing the divine snakes. He is seeing the divine rishis. He is seeing the devas, bhuta, visesha, sangha and brahmanam, isham. All that he is seeing. Next verse, Padim. Aneka bahu darabatra netram 
पश्यामि त्वाम सर्वतो नंतरूपम नांतम न मध्यम न पुनस्तवादिम पश्यामि विश्वेश्वर विश्वरूप अनेक बाहुदर वक्र नेत्रम पश्यामि त्वाम सर्वतो नंतरूपम नांतम न मध्यम न पुनस्तवादिम पश्यामि विश्वेश्वर विश्वरूप I see you in endless form everywhere with manifold arms, stomachs, mouths and eyes. Neither your end nor middle nor also your beginning do I see, O Lord of the universe, O universal form. Krishna and all is gone now. Huh? <laughs> Krishna and all is gone now. Where Krishna gone now? He is seeing Vishweshwara Vishwarupa. I see you in endless form everywhere. With manifold arms, stomachs, mouths, eyes, neither your end nor middle, nor also your beginning do I see, O Lord of the universe, O universal form. Now what he means is this. How to describe, how to put it in words, the all-pervasive nature of the divine. It is all-pervading. We have, we have read that any number of times. It is all-pervading. It makes absolutely no meaning at all. If you, have, if you actually sat and understood what, what is this all-pervasiveness means, you will definitely see Vishwarupa like this. To follow because we think all pervasive means we, we actually we don't even bother to investigate deep into the attributes of the divine. What is that attribute of divine that we have seen? All pervasive. How to describe that? Ananta Rupam Ahu Udaram Bhaktrani Netram. Again. Bahum, Udaram, Vaktrani, Netram. What it means is, he is seeing the entire variety of creations with the different organs of perception and different organs of action mm -hmm. and all are expressions of divine. Don't take it literally like eyes everywhere, mouth everywhere. It will, it will be such a chaotic form, isn't it? Arms everywhere, no? There is a form, isn't it? Hands everywhere, mouth everywhere, eyes everywhere. Now, what does it mean? Different species. He is continuing the description. It's not a break. Because we are reading it verse by verse by verse. It looks like a, like a break. It's not a break. And in quite a few places, it will be repetitive also. In quite a few places, it will be it will be repeated. It will be very repetitive. So, what is Ananta Rupam? Ananta Rupam is a continuation of what is left in the previous verse. What is left in the previous verse? The the, the divine celestials, the divine this divine all that he said. Ananta continuity of Ananta Rupam. What all he saw? Yakshas, Asuras, Siddhas, Rishis, Rakshasas. Human beings, everything he is seeing. You all can see it separately, separately, separately. How can you put everything into one? It's not everything is put into one. Everything remains as it is separately only. Your vision has become one. Are you able to follow? Everything putting into one doesn't mean you take everybody and put it in a mixture. Ah, sorry, mixy. <laughs> Not that you take everybody and put it in a mixy and get one, one, one mixture and say, ah, with that. it is not like that. What was seen as separate, 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 now you see as one. When you see as one means what? 
the one divine appearing as many. The one divine appearing as, as many. Na antam pasyami, na adi, na madhyam. Na adi, na madhyam, na antam. Means what? Beginning, middle, end. Beginning, middle, end. Beginning, middle, end. Everything in creation is beginning, middle, end. Beginning is manufacturing debt. End means expiry debt. Yeah. For debt of manufacturing, is Isn't it? Manufacturing debt. Expiry date will come. So, between the date of manufacturing and between expiry date, the middle portion is. Everything in creation is that. Everything in creation is Adi, Madhyam, Antam. Adi, Madhyam, Antam. Adi means date of birth. Antam is date of there is a time of birth and then there is the time of death. In between these two times, some existence is happening. So what is he seeing? What is the difference between you and this? Everything that I know till now is, is a victim of Adi, Madhyam, Antam. What I am seeing now is entirely qualitatively different. So, he is bringing in the qualitative difference between the two. What is the qualitative difference in perception? All that we see now is very clear. What is it that is very clear? Adi, Madhya, Mantam. It has everything. Correct? Only the time difference varies. That Adi, Madhya, Mantam, time difference varies from species to species, isn't it? But nevertheless, everything has a Adi and Nanta. The worldly sciences says, universe also has an, the sun also will have an end. Only thing is, you won't be alive that time, that's all. But nevertheless, the sun also has an end. It means the sun had a beginning, S-U-N. Not S-O-N, S-U-N. The S-U-N also had a beginning, the SUN also has an ending. Isn't it? That sun will be there for a very, very long period of time. But definitely two things are very clear. What? Manufacturing and expiring. They say the sun will go out of fuel. In? I don't know who planted so much of fuel first in the first place. Isn't it? Yeah, in the tank, the young petrol bank, all of fuel sun is not Isn't it? But only thing that we know is it is getting exhausted and it will get exhausted by some period of time. It means it, it some it, it means there is a date of creation and then there is a date of expiry. Isn't it? Time differs. That's all. When the first rain comes, you see those white insects you know, circling around the light in the evening. The first rains, the monsoon peak at the it will be circling around the the light, yeah. I don't know what is the name of that in English. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what is the name in English. Its lifetime is only 20 minutes. You know that, no? That its lifetime is only 20, 20 human minutes. No, sorry. <laughs> 20 minutes in uh, within brackets. The ahankara and mamakara of a human being is so much that everything is taken according to according to your time only, as though you are the center of the as though you are the center of the creation and every and you are the best in the creation and everything has to circle around. You only that's why we say 20 minutes in, uh, if you ask that. It will look at us as, if you ask that, it will look at us as, oh my God, they are devas. They will look at us like devas. Why? Because when it is living only for 20 minutes, we are living for? Imagine we are living for, let us say, 100 years. 
ஹண்ட்ரட் இயர்ஸை மினிட்டாக கன்வெர்ட் பண்ணால் எவ்வளோ மினிட்ஸ் வரும் கம்பேர் தட் ப்ரப்போஷன் அண்ட் திஸ் ப்ரப்போஷன் இட் வில் லுக் அட் அஸ் லைக் ஓ கிரேட் தேவாஸ் அதான் தேவான்னு அர்த்தம் இட் தட்ஸ் வாட் இட்ஸ் கால் தேவாஸ் பட் நெவர் தி லெஸ் ஒன் திங் இஸ் காமன் டு எவ்ரி திங் இன் கிரியேஷன் வாட் ஆதி மத்தியம் அந்தம் ஆதி மத்தியம் அந்தம் the reality which is all pervading doesn't have this limit all pervading means that which has no no limit anything that is having an beginning and an end cannot be infinite cannot be all pervading anything that doesn't have a beginning and an end alone can be all pervading therefore vishwarupam necessarily must have no beginning and and the end are able to follow then only it can be called a vishwa vishwarupam and two names of krishna what is the two names of krishna vishveshwara and vishwarupa vishveshwara and vishwarupa two beautiful names for krishna arjuna gives one is vishveshwara another is vishwarupa Vishveshwara means the one Lord, the one God that is vitalizing everything. Vishwarupa means that one God is appearing in many forms. Each and every word is so beautiful. Each and every word that he uses is so, so, so beautiful terms he uses. Vishveshwara and Vishveshwara. Vishwarupa. Vishweshwara means one who is the lord of everything, enlivening everything, energizing everything. Vishwarupa means that one which has become many. Wherever you see any activity, you see Brahman there. Because without the enlivening factor, there cannot be any. Wherever you see light, you understand Brahman. electricity <clears throat> similarly wherever you see this vishwam this tavara jangama everything is everything is dynamically moving changing constantly what do you actually see you see the energizing that is vishveshwara okay is it vishveshwara as in simply energizing no 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 it energizes and appears like that electricity enlivening electricity doesn't become the bulb electricity enlivens it so so that one aspect of enlivening factor electricity explains another facet is explained by the clay appearing as the pot to understand divine you need to combine both vishveshwara and vishwarupa it is not just an enlivening factor like a third third entity not only it enlivens it appears as that கால சொத்தும் புரியவே புரியாது இஸ்ன் இட் ஐ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த ப்ரெடிஃபிகல்டி பட் திஸ் ஆர் த வேர்ட்ஸ் தட் ஹீ இஸ் யூசிங் தட் ஃப்ரம் விச் ஆல் நாம ரூபா அரைசஸ் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் அண்ட் மர்ஜஸ் பேக் தட் ஃப்ரம் விச் ஆல் நாம ரூபா அரைஸ் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் அண்ட் merge back is it a creation it is an appearance it is not creation it is an appearance then only you can understand vishwarupa the moment you call it as creation you missed it completely so here we use the word not creation we use the word appearance it is it is the gold appearing as <coughs> the bangle it is the gold appearing as different ornaments what is vishwarupa now the thief has vishwarupa all ornaments thief has vishwarupa how do you say the thief has vishwarupa only the thief has vishwarupa darshana because he the value he gives it to is gold 
it is meaningful only because it is it is gold it is gold it is gold yeah. he takes in everything but what he sees that unique vision this is the this is the ramakrishna paramahamsa's example beautiful example this the the, the 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 example of thief seeing everything as gold is ramakrishna paramahamsa's பேசுறது கேட்ட ஏதோ நம்மளே எல்லாத்தையும் டிஸ்கவர் பண்ண மாதிரி இருக்கும் இட் கொளத்தூர் இல்லைங்க சும்மா டேபிள் காட்டுற மாதிரி அங்கேருந்து இங்கேருந்து கேதர் பண்ணி வி கீப் டாக்கிங் ஆஸ் தோ வி இன்வென்டட் எவ்ரி திங் பியூட்டிஃபுல் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ராமகிருஷ்ண கிவ்ஸ் ஹவு எ தீஃப் ஹவு அ தீஃப் வில் சி ஃபார் விஸ்வ ரூப தர்ஷன் இஃப் யூ ஹண்ட் இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் விஸ்வ ரூப தர்ஷன் யூஸ் ராமகிருஷ்ண பரமஹன்ஸ் ஹவு ஏ எ தீஃப் சீஸ் இட் அனதர் எக்ஸாம்பிள் another example you know in those days you have biscuits coming in various animal shapes no mm-hmm. have you seen those biscuits hmm? i don't know whether it is still coming or not now but in those days it used to come no it will be in the shape of an elephant and then they they will fight i got an elephant i got this i got that isn't it at the end of that day will you say i am eating an elephant or you will say i am eating biscuit it it is nama roopa but in and through the nama roopa you see the one factor mm-hmm. yeah upanishad gives the example of the child seeing the sweets it sees various things but it understands what is vishwa roopa darshana ella saavada mudiyum nanchikiradha vishwa roopa isn't it the various different okay what is the various sweets அது எப்படி டிஸ்கிரைப் பண்றது ஓகே இப்ப என்னெல்லாம பேர் சொல்றாங்க இஸ்ன் இட் யூ கோ டு ஒன் ஸ்வீட் கடை என்ன ஸ்வீட் கடை ராம் சுப்பிரமணியம் அடையார் ஆனந்த பவன் ஐ டோன்ட் லைக் அடையார் ஆனந்த பவன் எனி அதர் ஸ்வீட் ஷாப் கிருஷ்ணா ஸ்வீட்ஸ் I go to see a cake shop in Abdi Solano, isn't it? New Year and Nikki Grand Suites, Adair Ananda Bhavan Solano. What do you should say? You go to a, you go to a cake shop. Where do you go to see a cake shop? Okay, you go to, you know that Chennai Taj Gurmul has a very good cake shop. You know that, no? Beautiful cakes they used to make from that time. So, okay, you go there. I'm not marketing them, huh? i'm not marketing them i have I, i stopped eating all this long back but they make beautiful you go there in and through the various cakes of shapes and sizes you you have a vishwarupa darshana what is a vishwarupa darshana you have in the cake shop srikant ore vishwarupa darshana ga enna ella saavada mudiyum nradha isn't it isn't it even though you see it different 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 you understand the one the one thing behind it so you see that one sweet is appearing as various shapes and sizes that is vishwarupa darshana yoga he sees it so beautiful one thread runs through that everything therefore he says vishveshwara and vishwa rupa vishveshwara and vishwa rupa these are the two beautiful descriptions of the all pervasive nature of the vishwarupa the moment you call it as all pervasive obviously it means what you can't see an all pervasive thing through your eyes it's an understanding correct again all pervasiveness is not a physical perception all pervasiveness is an is an understanding just as the thief understands all ornaments are made of gold just as the child understands all the thing is biscuit you go to the cake shop you understand all are cakes similarly vishveshwara and vishwa rupa it is very easy to it is very important to have this vision why it is very important to have this vision then only that dvesha 
that that dvesha the hatred so many things all the things that cause worry and anxiety goes out when all that goes out your intellect is that sharp for a much higher deeper penetrative vision that's why we are trying all this why we are studying all this why we are trying all this to develop that that vision or something is blocking that vision now what is it that is blocking the ahankara and makara that that i and that i and mine that i and mine wherever you go you want to put yourself in the center isn't it that's iness even you go to the wedding in the wedding also you want to be the center not the couple that is getting married isn't it mm-hmm. see when you go to the wedding who should be the center in the wedding the couple getting married no anga kuda you should be the you should be the center how gate lane there somebody has to welcome you isn't it somebody has to go and make you seat and somebody has to come and somebody ha- and when you are eating somebody has to come and ask and when you leave even if one is missed you will say inivum unga kalyanathukku povey kuda sir ena mariyadaye kuduga therilla ungalku means what even there attention must be paid to you isn't it funeral ku ponaalum you should be the central point isn't it funeral la who is the central point in a funeral <coughs> person You, you you always believe the entire attention must be given to you hmm? if somebody pays attention to you you will say don't suffocate me huh? you will want attention and when somebody pays attention you will say don't suffocate me and when they say okay i will not suffocate you i will leave you alone na oh nobody is loving me sir somebody is constantly loving you will say suffocating when somebody says okay now i give you freedom you are left alone na you will come and say oh nobody is love no what do you want what do you want very simple sir everybody was me by slaves and servants waiting outside ella enakaga wait pannine irukano vaanna ulla varano ponna vella poyinu where is the problem correct no hmm in the vision la where is vishwarupa and all coming hmm. to get out of the iness and minus you need to have the vision to get out of the iness and minus you need to learn to see the divine so arjuna is seeing this vision verse number 16 oda mukshir gurama we will continue with 17 onwards in the next session